neutral side action, and we're just about set to kick off. And now let's head down to the coin toss. It's brought to you by Coke Zero. Real Coca-Cola taste and zero calories. Enjoy everything. We'll see how this game plays out as they get ready for the opening kickoff. Taken down at the 27. The quarterback leads the team out on the field for the first drive. They go with the run, and he's taken down behind the line. Good job by the defense to overpower the offensive line. Drop the back for a loss. It's second down and 11 to go. Ball on the 26. Setting up play action. Throws it deep. Incomplete. Almost picked off. This just shows you that you don't need to be sacking the quarterback to disrupt the passing game. Sack makes this a fourth and very long. This is a great punt blocking team, and it looks like they're going to try to get to this one. He punts it away, and it's a great kick. The Cowboys and their coaching staff, Kurt, just happy to have a guy like this in the program. Their offense really clicks when he's playing well. Well, I think it gives them the diversity that they're looking for. I mean, at times they're going to run the football. Other times they're going to try to air it out. When you have one guy that gets so much attention on the outside, it just seems to open up other aspects of their offensive attack. And they've done a good job as an offensive staff of putting together a good plan. And I'm sure we're going to see it again today. So the old draw play gets them a good seven yards. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. Mike four, Mike four. Seven, two, seven. Brought down around the 49-yard line. yard he needed to keep the drive moving. No, he was trying to muscle his way past those big guys, but they stood their ground. Looks like they're going to go for it on fourth down. That's a great tackle at the 46-yard line. I'm not going to fault that decision. It was definitely a first down that they could have picked up. You want to be aggressive early on, even if it doesn't always work out. Really a great stop by the defense. This will go down as one of those critical plays. They've got to play with some focus and smarts here. They don't want to make a mistake and suddenly find themselves trailing. Looks like someone got a head start on the line. False start. Offense. That penalty will move them back a bit. Yeah, with so many young guys out there, it's bound to happen occasionally. So we'll have first and 15 after the penalty. Taken down at the 49. That makes it second and 14. Motion. 
32-yard line. Superb effort by the receiver to come down with that ball. Well, this comes down to the timing between the quarterback and the receiver, and the result, again, a nice play for the offense. It's first and 10. Ball on the 32. down and they've got their eyes on that goal line. seems to make things happen no matter what kind of space he has to work with. All he needs is a little crease of daylight and forget about it. And he converts the extra point. A four-play, 50-yard drive, and they come away with a touchdown. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. He makes it out to maybe the 39-yard line. And the defense stopped them cold on fourth down during their last drive. Hey, remember, you don't have to go for it on fourth down. The last time you had the football, you went for it on fourth down, and you didn't convert. Just think about this. If you move the ball into your opponent's territory and you want to take a chance and it makes sense to go for it on fourth down, I understand that and I get it. But when you're in your own territory and it's fourth down and five or longer, just considering a punt would make me so happy. They'll spread the field with five wide. They'll bring him down right around the 42-yard line. Ouch. Pretty big loss on the play, and I think they might want to reassess the strategy here. Perhaps run a screen. Maybe hit the tight end on a short pattern. This D-line is just a bit much to handle at this moment. Third and six. Ball on the 42-yard line. Man wide open, in and out of his hands. Well, that is a big hit by the defense there. Good job of timing up the hit. And he didn't get there too early for the pass interference. He waited till the receiver touched the football, and then he was able to dislodge the ball from the receiver. Oh, excellent punt. This one will go into the end zone, and they'll bring it out to the 20. They ran the ball very well on their last drive, and it resulted in six. Makes it out to about the 30. Down, and they're about the length of the football from the first down marker. He's tackled at the 31-yard line. So the running back comes away with a short gain on the play, and he also gets a first down. Not a huge run, but enough to move the chains, and that's all that matters. Now he tries to buy some time. He chucks it downfield. And he holds that one in. Touchdown! Huge play! tight end gets so open on such a big play. That was poor defense. Looks like there was some miscommunication between the safety and the linebackers, which caused for him to get so open. He makes the PAT. 
with a three-play 80-yard drive, and they get it in for seven. You know, you always prepare your offense to think that we're going to have some success. These guys kind of be coming over the sidelines after touchdown, after touchdown, and saying, man, I, I didn't expect it to be this easy. So the score now, 14-0. Gets out to about the 31. Great leadership right now on that defensive side of the football. Well, you can't play great defense without great leadership and just an attitude. And, and right now, early in this game, it's refreshing to watch this defense play with the leadership and with the speed and, and the attitude that it takes to be great. The defense really stepped up to force that three and out on the last drive. They've been beaten soundly on both sides of the ball, and we haven't even gotten to the second quarter. And he hits him hard at the 48-yard line. Good, solid running right there. Getting past the defensive lineman and into the secondary before he could be stopped. First and ten. Ball on the 48-yard line. And they make the stop at the 49-yard line. The score here at Amon G. Carter Stadium is the Pegasus 14. Boys, nothing. Welcome back here. We resume action now here in the second quarter. The handbag picks up a yard. That's a D1 on the board. That brings up second and nine. From the 35 yard line, second down. Boy, was he drilled as he let go of that football. Yeah, man, he's going to feel that one tomorrow. They come out on an empty backfield. At about the 33 yard line. Well, a new quarterback, but we saw this kid getting reps both in practice and in the pregame walkthrough, so this isn't a big surprise. Fourth down. They're going to try a long field goal here. He gets it up, and it's long enough, and he nails the long field goal. Kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. He's taken down at the 30-yard line. You think about the challenges these two teams are facing. On one side, you've got to find a way to keep building on your lead. And on the other side, you've got to find a way to get back in it. run there from their own 34 yard line second down there's a strike complete he's down these short effective passes are going to help the quarterback's confidence Field. He makes his way to about the 42. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 42. And he's 
tackled at the 39. like to see out of a young quarterback. He just has to ignore the pressure and get the ball out of there on time. First and ten. Ball on the 22. The ball is loose. And they call on the loose ball. Down he goes at the nine. So this could be the option they were looking for. Yeah, this will be a big possession by both teams. The defense now needs to step up and hold their ground. They do not want to let this lead slip away. It was a pretty one-sided first quarter, but I wouldn't be surprised if things changed in a big way before halftime. Second down, goal to go. Four yards out. Dumps it right to his fullback. And he's got the touchdown. He found his fullback for the score. It's a nice job by the quarterback looking off his primary receivers and dumping it off to the fullback for the touchdown. Same thing as before, just with better awareness. He fights forward to about the 30. That makes it second and eight. It's second down and eight. Ball on the 30. They come out in a five-wide set. Quick throw out to the receiver. That was a really nice play on the ball by the receiver for a substantial gain and a first down. From the 50, first down. yard line. It's second down. Drop down at the 29. on the field. They're getting very tired. From the 26-yard line, it's first down. And he's tackled right away. A 
that's a smart play here by the quarterback. He threw it into the window the zone coverage gave him. Nice pass and a nice job by the receiver running a slam. The offense calls a timeout. That's a huge loss. Not just in yards, but in confidence for the offensive line as well. It's the ninth time. They'll line up with five wide receivers. Got a man. Watch out here. And he is drilled at the 18. They spread the field in the gun with five wide receivers. Throws complete. He's got space to work. Big play, and it's first and goal. The defense has got some of their best pass defenders on the field. They set up in the dime to counter that five wide receiver set. To the end zone, touchdown. It's really hard to defend pass with your back to the end zone. It can also be difficult for an offense because the field tightens up. That was a nice play. He splits the uprights with the extra point. So an 11 play, the one yard drive, and a touchdown as a result. They line up to kick this one away. And he got all of this one. Great kick. And it goes in zone. Down for a touchback. The Cowboys are struggling trying to get their star wide receiver in this game, and sometimes, you know, Herbie, it's almost like uh, a jump shooter in basketball. Get him to the free throw line, get him one free one from 15 feet and see how he can do. they got to get the ball in his hand somehow. I agree with you 100%. I mean, it's just a matter of just one play, one touch to get this guy going because he has that kind of ability, and up to this point, they've not been able to find a way to get him the ball. Give credit, a lot of credit to this for coming in with a good plan. But now it's up to the offense to make their own adjustments to kind of counter that, that attack, this defense, to be able to get the, the ball into the hands of their go-to guy. He's to the 40. The 42-yard line. The Cowboys call a timeout. That's their second of the half. From their 42-yard line. First down. He might not be able to get the pass off. And he's immediately tackled. What a play is right. Here they throw the ball to the tight end, and the big guy shows that he's valuable not only as a blocker, but as a receiver as well. Nice catch. He's wrapped up for the sack. The Cowboys using their third last timeout. Man, these guys can be aggressive. When you stand back there and take hits like that, you definitely are going to feel it the next day. Kicks up, and he splits the uprights. feeling this ball is going nowhere near the return man with this kickoff most likely to end the half he's out to the 30 and he's taken down at the 34 yard line a great first half comes to a close the score here at Amon G Carter Stadium is the Pegasus 21 boys 13 Hi, everybody. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Bruce Davis, David Pollock here in the studio as always to lend a little perspective to what just went down in the first 30 minutes. We've been looking forward to this game all week, and it has lived up to billing. A close game. You feel like that it's going to be a great second half. And at the perfect guys in the booth. What a reward today for Nestler and Herb Street to get this game. Well, you know, it's not a secret, Reese. They get the best game every week that we think's on the schedule, right? So they got this grave. It's great. It's close. It's going back and forth. I mean, what a treat to watch one of the best games of the year just unfolding in front of us. And more importantly, to hear the silky smooth sounds of Kirk Herb Street and Brad Nestler. Does it get any better? Just about ready to start the second half. We're going to watch all the games around the country, including some coaches who like to sample the surface that they're playing on. I'll, I'll keep an eye on that. Yeah, I'm going to go to the cafeteria. You want some turf? Some hash turf or anything? Yeah, if they've got some, I'll chew on that in the second half. Here's the second half for you to chew on with Brad and Kirk. All right, Reese and David, thanks, guys. Second half action just about ready to start here. He sends this one deep. 
This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. They're still trying to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. Throws, and he's right there to knock it away. You know, for you young cornerbacks and young defensive backs, this is a great example of just being smart and efficient as a defender. Instead of taking a chance and going for that interception, he was smart. He got in position, knocked the football away, and didn't give the receiver a chance to make a play on the football. He's tackled at the 34. Short yardage situation here. It's third and one. Tackle after a decent run up the gut. Second down and 11. Ball on the 40-yard line. That's a great tap at the 45-yard line. There are five wide receivers split out. The quarterback in the gun. Taken down around the 37 yard line. That makes it first and ten. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 37 yard line. run and he's brought down that brings him second and this is the eighth play of the drive this one's going deep to the end zone he's picked it off this time it's the safety Nice pick by the safety. Safety that time just sitting back there looking at the quarterback, and once it was thrown, he knew exactly where it was going, and he made the pick. From their own 20-yard line. First down. Makes it to the 37. First and ten. Ball on their own 37. Throws complete. He's hit right away. Throws it in a hurry. They bring him down to the 38 yard line. That gives him 100 yards in the game. He poses a lot of problems for defense, size, and skill. And he's really come through with his receiving today. From the 38 yard line, it's first down. He 
He's scrambling. Tackle made around the 24-yard line. From the 24-yard line, second down. They'll spread the field with five wide. He's out of bounds at about the 23-yard line. Here's the eighth play of the series. is getting set to go for it. They're trying to stop the run here with a goal line defense. He might have a chance. And he's in the end zone. Touchdown. Very impressive run by the halfback to find the end zone. Good play call here by the offense coordinator. He realizes when you get down into the red zone and you have a half back like this, just give him the ball and let him find his way into the end zone. And he hits the PAT. Looks like they're ready for the kick. Nice kick, plenty of distance. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. They'll get him for a loss. That brings up second and 13. Second and 13. Ball on the 22-yard line. So an empty backfield with five wide receivers. Receiver, and he hits him hard at the 32-yard line. You know what? After a play like that, I wouldn't be the least bit surprised if they went to the air again. Two times, two times. Four down, four down. 18, 18. Mike Moore, Mike Moore. He's still going to be short. it to the 32-yard line. Herbie, we had a tight game going into halftime. Coming out in this third quarter now, one team's taking advantage. Well, give credit to this offense. We've seen some versatility. They're hitting some big plays, and I think that creativity is allowing them to build on this lead. The last time out, they were able to pick up big chunks of yards through the air. You wonder if they'll go back to that same strategy or will they start to lean a little bit. Tries to fit it in there, and it'll be intercepted. And he's tackled around the 41-yard line. Hey, this could potentially turn this football game around. They're down by a couple scores, but if you're the offense and you're on the sideline and you're not feeling good about it, and your defense comes up with an interception like that, boy, oh boy, you're grabbing your helmet, sprinting on that field, and you're ready to go. First and 10, ball on the 41. There's a strike complete. He's down. This is still anyone's ball game as we head into the final quarter of play. The score here at Amon G. Carter Stadium is the Pegasus 28, the Cowboys 13. All right, we're just about set to start action here again in the fourth quarter. the 35 so the tailback gets two yards on the option third down, third down and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down and they make the stop at the 33 
Both teams are well aware that a score on this drive is going to create an almost insurmountable lead. This defense has really got to step it up and make a stop. They bring him down in the backfield. That is exactly the type of play that good linebackers make on a regular basis. And if you can make enough of them in college, you're probably going to get a chance to play at the next level. So it's second and 14. Ball in the 29. Quick throw. A pickup of five. You don't have to go deep every play to be successful. They got five yards on the play, and that's always a good game. Defense. That was picture perfect three and out. Good series for these guys. Booming kick. He fields the punt at the 13. He's tackled at the 22. Last time out, the offense wasn't able to convert on fourth down. This offense comes out on the field again after being stopped on downs the last time out. And not only does that affect them in a negative way, but you know what it does is it gives this defense that they're facing a ton of confidence and a lot of momentum as they come back out on the field. their own 45-yard line. First down. He makes it to the 45-yard line. Side to 45. Just under three to go in regulation. Open receiver, no good. Well, he had his hands on the ball, but once the hit arrived, there was no way he was going to maintain possession. He's going to air it long. Knocked down, incomplete. When the first down marker is that far away, someone's got to step up and make a play on fourth down. It just didn't happen for him here. It'll be interesting how the action shakes out in this series. up a yard. We've got a second and nine here. Ball on the 44. He makes it out to maybe the 43-yard line. Pick up of a yard for the tailback. Yeah, there's not much room there for the ball carrier. The safety did a nice job of stepping up from the secondary and made a good stop before he could get many yards. Brought down at the 42. That's going to bring up fourth down. Just a great job by the defense. These guys are disguising their defense so well that they're confusing the quarterback and the offensive line. He gets it away, and this is a really nice punt. This one will go into the end zone, and they'll bring it out to the 20. Both squads are digging in now. Let's see what happens on this next drive. Just under two to go in the game. Gets it out quickly. Tackle around the 34-yard line.
take him down immediately. And he stops the clock with a spike. That makes it 37. From their own 38 yard line. Third down. And he's sacked. Coaches don't like it when their quarterback gets hit like that. Don't be surprised to see the old coach get on his lineman to protect the quarterback a little bit better. package in there defensively in this five wide receiver set he throws it he's got it he's taken down at the 27 a quarterback in the gun with five receivers throws complete he's got room to work and he tackles him hard at the 18 yard line what impresses me so much is the guy's vision. He read the coverage perfectly to find his man for good yardage. It's third down, and this offense is about three feet away from that first down marker. Five wide. of the drive. And he just gets rid of it. So it's fourth down and the offense is still on the field. And he's got the touchdown. try for the two-point conversion they spread the field in the gun with five wide receiver he's got the two The whistle hasn't sounded yet. They still have to snap the ball and make sure they don't make any mistakes. And this should be a kneel down as they just try to kill the clock. Just take a knee here to kill the clock. Cowboys, they're going to have to call their third and final timeout. The quarterback takes a knee, and that's always a good sign if you're a fan of this team. Cowboys, I'm sure, are secure in the knowledge that despite this setback today, they still have one of the best players in the country. Well, this is a devastating loss, but it's one that they're going to have to put behind them. And, and as you said, they still have one of the best players in the country. They don't need to deviate their plan, get back to really what they know, and that's getting the ball to their star player. And next week, I'm sure they'll be fine. For EA Sports and Kirk Herbstreit, this is Brad Nessler saying thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you next time.